I got this book uh, that I really like, Collected French Translations of John Ashbery, and I've been recording a lot of readings from it. And um, I, I, I won't be able to pronounce the names that occur in this poem correctly, but I'll try my best. The poet is Superville, and, um, and the, po the, the poem is called To L'Autriamont. And there's a, there's a note, I think the note is by the translator Ashbery. It says, both Superville and Isidore Ducasse, the 19th century poet who wrote under the pseudonym Comte de L'Autriamont, were born in Montevideo, Uruguay. To L'Autriamont. No matter where I begin to dig the ground, hoping you'd emerge from it, I pushed aside houses and forests to see behind them. I was capable of spending a whole night waiting for you, doors and windows open, opposite two glasses of alcohol that I wouldn't touch. But you never came, Lotriamont. Around me, cows were starving in front of cliffs and stubbornly turned their backs on the grassiest meadows. The lambs silently climbed back into the belly of their mothers, who died of it. The dogs deserted America, looking behind them, because they would have liked to speak before they left. Alone on the continent, I searched for you in sleep, where meetings are easier. One plants oneself on a street corner, the other quickly arrives. But you didn't come, even then, Lautriamont behind my closed lids. I met you one day at the latitude of Fernando Naronha. Your form was that of a wave, only more truthful, more circumspect. You were hurrying easily toward Uruguay. The other waves moved aside in order to salute your misfortunes better. Those that live but twelve seconds and move only toward death gave themselves up to you utterly and you pretended to disappear like them, so that, dying, they might think you their classmate. You were one of those who chose the ocean to live in, the way others sleep under bridges. As for me, I hid my eyes behind dark glasses on a steamboat haunted by the odor of women and cooking. The music climbed the masts, furious at being jostled by the tango, I was ashamed of my heart, in which flowed the blood of the living, while you have been dead since 1870, and without a drop of blood, you take the form of a wave to make people think it's all the same to you. The very day of my death I see you come toward me, with your man's face. You saunter favorably, barefoot on the high mounds of heaven. But as soon as you get the proper distance away, you let me have one right between the eyes, L'Autriamont. <laughs>